What is up everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In the last episode we had taken on the Medali Gym and we succeeded in getting our third gym badge. In this episode we're going to be heading towards the Poison Crew's territory. Uh, so I hope uh, the Team Star is Poison Crew territory. That's where we're going to be heading. So I hope y'all are excited for that because I know I am. So we are going to head straight there. Um, I don't see the need to go anywhere else. Right now, we're just gonna head straight over there. Ooh, is there a thing up there? But yeah, I, I haven't gotten, I haven't found a Pokemon to replace. Um, I haven't found a Pokemon to replace uh, Pomo yet. But Pomo is gonna be going in the, on the back burner. I won't, I, I won't be using Pomo anymore. So y'all know. So just so y'all know, I will not be doing that. Clasiado Mountain, okay. So we're definitely gonna be on the lookout for some po new Pokemon. Because like I said at the very beginning, I want to use Paldean Pokemon. I don't want to use older generations, unless I absolutely need to. But I don't think I absolutely need to. Because I know there's gonna be somebody somewhere. Or, yeah, so someone somewhere. It's just we haven't found them yet. But we will. Ooh, what's that? What's that in the background over there? A Pokemon we haven't caught. I know, I know that. All right, first battle of the episode. Whoa! You're very tall. You are very tall. Just, I wonder, does Flamigo evolve? Flamigo does. I wonder what. I wonder what. I wonder what. In, what into? Really? Does, well, how does counter work exactly? I don't really know how most of these most of these most of these moves work, but I don't know. But yeah, while I was looking around, I could have, while I was looking in my boxes, I could not find somebody to replace. Uh, to replace so. I do want to get another electric type, but we haven't really, I don't really we've gotten to the territory of other electric types yet. Yikes, what are you? That's all I want to find out. What are you? You're definitely one I haven't caught before. Sictoddle? Kitoddle? Fine by me. Go for a regular Pokeball. Alrighty. Katato, what are you? Would you like to join my team? Ooh, you're an Ice type. Honestly? That might be worth it. The species left an ocean and began living on the land a very long time ago. Seems to be closely related to Whalmer. Really? Okay, sure. We don't have an ice type, so let's go ahead and switch out Palmo. Palmo, you've been great to us since the beginning. I appreciate you. I love you so much. But it's about that time we change out for now. For an ice type. Interesting. I don't, I don't think I've ever really had an ice type on my team before. It's pretty cool that I, just, that I bumped into one just now. All right, we're just gonna look around real quick to see if there's any other Pokemon around. There is a cave over here, so we can check this out. I'm assuming this cave is gonna go. To, it's gonna lead to the same place. I'm guessing. Probably just another way of getting through. Maybe I'm not too sure though. All right, now that that trainer is fought, let's go ahead. I want to end healed also. Let's go ahead and see where this leads. So it's probably just a shortcut, maybe, instead of going up the mountain, I'd assume. What's that? Oh, yeah. Friggy box? Friggy Fiji? Friggy? Friggy? I don't know. That's super effective. 
<laughs> not do nothing. May I recover a little bit, but let's try to put you to sleep. Try one more time, put you to sleep. No, okay. Alrighty. Maybe Flamigo? I'm assuming it's just a shortcut. Ooh, Ice Fang. Are you an Ice type also? You're level 39, too. Don't know if we're going to be able to catch you. I doubt it, but... Go ahead and try, right? You're already low enough on HP, so maybe a Great Ball will do it? Not even? Really? Not even one shake? The Pokemon did a lot better. What? Mirror ball, maybe? Seriously, come on now. That was a crit, too. Maybe a heal ball will do it. Maybe. One, two, three. Yes, okay. Okay, what are you? An ice dark type or something? Ice, you're an ice dragon. Interesting. Frigibax absorbs heat through its dorsal uh, fin and converts the heat into ice energy. The higher the temperature, the more energy Frigibax stores. Ooh, interesting. Let's see your summary real quick. Got ice fang, dragon claw. Ooh, that actually. Wait, you're not gonna listen to me though, because I'm only level 35. Never mind. I was gonna say maybe I could actually use you, but not now. Not I can't use you right now since you're not gonna listen to me if I even try to. Okay. But I'll definitely keep you in. I'll, keep, I'll definitely keep you on, in mind. Okay. Let's go ahead and just revive Flamigo real quick. We got nine revives. So we should be good. You see some regular potions. We don't need to use super potions right now. I'm gonna save super potions for like battles, actual battles that we have to do. So I don't worry about it right now. All right. Anyways, there's another one over there. So we're gonna try capturing it too. I think you're. I think you're also a dragon. Alrighty. Any other Pokemon here? Doesn't seem like it. But yeah, I think this is just a shortcut to, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna try going up, I'm gonna try, try to mount it. Ooh, Snow Runt. Okay. Snow Runt was, Snow Runt was caught. I definitely need different clothing for this. There's a pack of Snow Runt over there. Alrighty. Save alive, you don't have to worry about that. I have those signed it. Where does this lead to? Mountain path, okay. Where does this lead to? To Zapapico. Which one leads me to the I think they both they could both lead me over there, yeah. Okay, we can fast travel here now, so that's cool. So this is where he wants us to go. Let's go ahead and just go up here. What are you? That was a glimmit. Ooh, night slash. Ooh, night slash. That's actually really. I like that move a lot. Why we could get rid of that? What would you rather get rid of though? 
I don't I don't want to skip over it. I don't want to skip over it though. Uh should I get rid of slash? No, let's just get rid of slash. You should be okay, hopefully. Ooh, I see, I see that gabite over there. It absorbs nutrients from cave walls. The petals it wears are made of crystallized poison. Interesting, okay. I see that ga gabite over there. See how we do? Alrighty, right, right, as I was saying before, I decided to go after those Pokemon to catch. We're gonna go up the mountain path and see if there's any, uh, thing of interest up here, at least for a little bit. And then we'll head to the Poison Crew. We're probably not gonna do the Poison Crew in this episode, but we can just head over there. I mean, if, we, if we get over there pretty quick, then we, yeah, we can do it and do it. Since the Poison Crew, the Star stuff, seems to be pretty easy. Ooh, I don't think I've caught in you. Wait, no, 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 never mind. They're still all the same. Never mind. I thought it was the ev evolution of it. Never mind. Okay, a whole bunch of Doug Trio. Snows are falling down. Ooh, a Hadiyama's over there. We got a nice stone, which is pretty cool. I didn't catch him many times when I was over here. So, yeah, we took on that trainer. I'm about to go, about to go after that uh, uh, Hadiyama, though. If they're still there. Oh, they're not there anymore. Never mind. Okay, cool. The, hypno the hypnosis combo and then, a then trying to and catching with the Pokeball. Definitely. Definitely a win. Definitely a win. That's re it's really helping out. It's helping out a lot. I wonder if I, if I just go to the center and then... Run back. Will, will it respawn different a different Pokemon? Question mark. Potentially. I'm just genuinely curious. I want to catch a Hariyama. Hypnosis has definitely been helping us out, though. Okay, no, I don't think it does anything. Okay, cool. I guess. Maybe we'll probably bump into one later on then. Okay. Bug trio. Oh. I don't think I've caught you. I think I've only fought you, but I haven't caught you. Yeah. Okay, it was it was caught. Another train over there. I think we go up here. Well, one, there's an item, and then two try to have I caught in a Larvitar? I'm not too sure if I've caught one or not. Have I? I have, okay. Okay. So I'm looking for I'm looking for where we can find that uh TM. Here we go. It's really cool. Alrighty, drill run. Cool. Alrighty. We're the same Sailand did that I caught before. Okay. Let's keep on going then. There's a train over here. Let's fight him real quick. We just got over 2,000 to 5,000 EXP from that. Blissies definitely do be giving you a lot of EXP. That's really cool. I should definitely see if I can find Blissies Blissey somewhere. Because that would be definitely a good way to grind. Is there anything else you want to get rid of at all, buddy? Or no? Nah, you want to skip over it. Okay, that's fine. Mega Kick? Is that Flamigo? Yeah... Forget Peck. Yeah, that's fine. We've had Peck for a long time. We don't need it anymore. 
Alrighty, send it to a student. You want to give me some money too? 2,000? Okay, not bad. Okay, I think if we just head up, it's going to lead, send us, lead us to the outside. I don't think there's anything anywhere else to go, so let's go ahead and go outside then. I've caught everything that, I can, that I've seen here, except for that ha Haruyama, but it hasn't, res it hasn't respawned, so... Can't really do anything about that, but I can fight this trainer, so let's go do that real quick. Alright, I had gone healed and got the expert belt from that guy from battling the trainer, so not, there was, really wasn't much to show there, so I just cut it all out. Ooh, you already know! Glaciado Mountain. Is that a fire type? Because I need a fire type. I need a fire type. I know Litleo Litleo's a starter from the previous games, right? Right? Fire normal. Pyroar. I'm not too sure. But I don't want to catch the mom, so give me just a second. And I have caught the Pyroar, so that's awesome. So now I have a level, not level, but I have a uh, a fire type if I need one for later. Okay. We're filling up that Pokedex, guys. This is gonna lead us to over there. Ooh, you're something else. Let me actually revive. Cause I, li I like to have Sandy Gas available in my front party because the hypnosis combo with the Pokeball is really good. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I have plenty of potions. And I'm, I'm, and I'm gonna keep buying potions. I don't think I'm gonna stop buying potions just because we're, we have much more HP. All right, so I believe Low Kicks is a Paldean Pokemon, so when it decides to fight all out, it stands on its previous folded legs to enter showdown mode, neutralizes its enemies to short order. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to really use Sandgast for this one, but that's okay. Oh, that's the evolution of Nimble, okay. Yeah, Sandygast did kind of uh, faint a little bit. <laughs> so we're gonna revive, revive, revive him again. And like I said, we're gonna keep He's gonna be the only one we really revive, and if I need to revive everybody else, I can just picnic. I'm just gonna go ahead and just heal up these little guys. Alrighty. We can go down here and head over to where we're supposed to go. Let's head to the left here and see where this leads us. It's probably gonna lead us to a. Oh. Those are new. Go Goat, Steve Evolution, I believe. Hopefully Hypnosis does something. No. Cause I want to show you how it, how it works. So I'm, trying, I'm trying to really hope this works. Nope, it's not gonna work. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Please go through. Okay. So there's a the Hypnosis, falls asleep. I haven't done, any, haven't done any, any damage to him yet. But let's see if it'll actually work this time around. I'm gonna use a Great Ball for this one. Because sometimes it'll work, other times it won't. I guess it works the first time when, I, when I'm lucky, but most of the time it does kind of work. But like that, simple as that. If y'all want to capture a Pokemon easily, Hypnosis, Pokeball, you're good. And it's also a good way of grinding too. So there's that. So now y'all know. So I feel like this is gonna lead to a... I feel like it's gonna lead to a uh, Titan here in a second. You know that Pokeball I just saw? Like I was saying, I feel like this is gonna lead to a Titan. Oh geez, they're right in front of me. Ooh, what are you? I know what you are. Okay, so I'm not too sure if this is a new Pokemon from this region or not, but Grievard's data has been added to the Pokedex. Uh, it said the dog Pokemon that died in the wild wild without even interacting with a human was reborn as, 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 as this Pokemon, excuse me. Alrighty, well I've just been I've just been walking around all over the place. So yeah. Cause I wanna I wanna have a picnic real quick because I am kind of low 
on health. So give me just a second. Okay, so I, I did the same thing I did in the last episode, I think or it was two episodes ago, where I went ahead and caught everything I think I could catch for the time being. Um, so that's what I did. We're gonna and we're gonna go ahead and just head straight to the star base and see if we can and see if we can do it in this episode. Cause it's just gonna because I mean I, I did think about going up going up the avalanche here, but but I don't really don't think I should because I feel like it's gonna be really difficult <laughs> like before. So I'm not gonna go up here just yet. Um, we'll find another way to get up there soon enough. Probably when we, when we get down here, we'll probably head, head towards the avalanche area. So we're, we're going to go ahead and head, straight, head down to the Starfalls, the Starfall thing. And I think we're going and probably in the next episode, we're going to want to stop by, stop at Biko here, and then go get this next Path of Legend. I feel like that's what, how it's going to work. I feel like that's what Nurse Joy is going to recommend. Nurse Joy is going to recommend, and then probably after that, it'll probably be this gym. And then Adam, we'll go from there, I guess. Um, fire gyms over here, or that's fire crew base. I don't know. We'll see. Because no, typically the ice area is always to last. I feel like, so we can just go. So we're just gonna fly our way down to the base. We are pretty close, and since we can fly so nice, I'm gonna try to not catch any more Pokemon because I think I've caught enough Pokemon for to for now, at least for this episode. I'm just gonna head down to the. Ooh, of course, as soon as I say that. That Honchkrow took way too long to catch. Literally, Honchkrow is fighting me so hard. So hard, guys. Okay. What's that? Ooh, a Dawnstone. There's another one. Where does this lead to? So it's just gonna lead up. It's gonna lead up the same way, I, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Let's, yeah. Let's just get. Let's just head down here. Let's not worry about that trainer over there. We actually have quite a couple of centers around. Yeah. One right. Yeah. At least it's up Pico. We can just go straight here. We got time. We got time. Alrighty. Let's go. I actually think we're right above it too. Oh. <laughs> Really? While we're in the air? Okay, I'm fine with that. Back up, kid. You can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of the uh, stars that run the joint. What the heck? If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and storm, and storm the base like a decent person. What? <laughs> Oh, they really want me to go around, okay. Okay, whatever. Real quick though, let's go ahead and do a picnic, just because oh, I can. Can I set a picnic? Because we're kinda low, and we're not near Pokemon Center, so. Uh, never mind. okay, let's just use a revive then. We'll go ahead and use a Super Potion for this, and we're about to get into a fight. Okay. So let's get get to where we can't just where you can't just fly on in, I guess. Alrighty. Tag tree thicket. Bound to be some Pokemon around here. Now is it gonna let me? I think so. Yeah. What's up, dude? Ah, it's you, Sky. Director Clavel. Like I said before, the name is Clive. Please don't forget it. Anyway, Sky, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. What's your end game here? I need answers. That's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star, and what's causing its members' odd behavior? What situation? Team Star is, sub is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know? Some say that bullying, ha bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. 
Now let's say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the Academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistence truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside, clashing for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up in mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that, that should, should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice. Between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I heard, overheard you talk on the phone to Casapia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Casapia, can you hear me? Ugh. Another time then. Be careful. Alright. Cool, cool. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases, was there? Is someone with you just now? Eh, it's just me. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its scar up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Okay. Fine by me. Ooh, that music. Okay. Sorry, I just want to listen to the music real quick. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and do it. We got time. Toxic spikes. Alright, let's do this. It's time. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Daticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Get a little closer. Go say hello. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Sky. Wait, Sky? The kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Prepare to be raided. I knew it. Ooh boy, this isn't this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. Leave you into me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah? What's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when a crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Okay. Sure, kid. Alright, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Bring it on, then. Yeah! <laughs> okay, kid. Watch him be level, level freaking 99. <laughs> Yusuf. Level 30? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just switch out Sandy Gas then. Anything super effective? Nah. But you'll definitely still do some damage. We're all pretty much level 40 now, so that's nice. That music, though. Go for an air slash. And one more should do it. Finish it off. We're pretty quick. Flamigo's pretty quick. I'm guessing Flamigo doesn't evolve. That'd be cool if it did, though. Shrewdal. Hey, I have, I have a Shrewdal. From 12 episodes ago. Maybe get a flinch in. Or a one-hit KO, that works too. Alrighty. Nice try, kid. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. 
Yeah, keep, t keep telling yourself that, kid. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Don't add a kiss. I'm sorry I failed you. Sky, you're all right. I was standing watching when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ugh, no fair, you had back up this whole time. Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's some Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see, no, see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Sky, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might have brought you for a chat, my, uh, my man. Don't worry, I won't bite. My man, really? Okay. Nice work in with the guard. Within the base lies with Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. The boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. They can never tell what's, what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to a de declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you've raided to kick off this phase of the, of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi Squad off the map. Okay, we have to go with three Pokemon, I believe, so... Let's go ahead and pick those three. We're gonna go with... Definitely... Miascarada. We'll go with you... I think Sigazar would be good. Would be a good choice. Yeah. Let's just heal Miascarada up real quick. Just a little bit. You know, I, don't, I, I, know, I know I don't really have to. So we can heal inside the base, but... You know. Oop. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Ding, ding, ding. Let's see how we do. I think we'll do fine. And we can heal it with we can heal with Clive here. Some kid l lucked out being being one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this Gate Crasher what the Team Star can do. If you're listening, Gate Crasher, you know this. Unless you can beat thirty of our Pokemon in ten minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with what likes of you. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's go. Oh, whoa, sw a swab's over there. Nice. Who's up next? Let's go, Siglazar. Nice. Okay, cool. Ghost Pokemon? Oh, Flamigo's got this one handled. You got it, Flamigo. Alrighty. Go. Got some gulpins here. Okay. Alrighty. Oop. So give me just a second. I'm right, sorry about that. Work. That was work, Colin. One of my one of the other managers. She normally she typically works days and mornings, so she doesn't really know how to how to how to end it, end everything everything she has to do like end business day, open close our system, and all that good stuff. So she just called me. She just called me there for a second to ask me for some for some help on that. So sorry about that little cut right there, but gotta do what you gotta do for work, you know. Because technically, I should I should be asleep right now. I should not be playing video games right now, but. I'm doing, I'm doing what I can so I can get some videos for y'all for this next week. Alrighty. Okay. But, but, everybody, but my three Pokemon that I have right here, they're doing really well. I'm proud of them. Okay. Where's the other ones? Funguses and such. Okay. Alright, there we go, and that's 30. Heck yeah, alright. He's way above our level, we've gotta get the boss. 
So yeah, if you heard if, if earlier you heard something vibrating, that was my phone. So if you hear it again, I apologize. Boss of Team Star's Poison Crew, Atticus. And yeah, Kitty's kind of has some energy right now. She's scratching at the futon as we speak right now. But she's doing her own thing. As long as she's not meowing and being annoying, we're good. Pray forgive my sudden entry, tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel's guy, I take it. You have some nerve bar bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard. Okay, let's go. I believe we can use all six of our Pokemon now. If I remember correctly. Sky versus Atticus of Team Star. A not for punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. Okay. Do a flower trick. Y'all haven't seen this yet. It's actually really cool. Not very effective, but it's still really, it's still a really cool looking move. They're gonna be all about the poison, so, which makes sense since that's their name. Maybe a bite? Not very effective, that's okay. But at least, we've, at least it flinched. We're taking a little bit of damage in the poison, but that's okay. Then let's go for a Night Slash. Nice. The music. Is it different? I can't tell if it's different from the other one. I don't think so. Critical hit. Okay, I did a little bit of damage to us, but we're good. Sit and moves can poison with a mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokemon's sake. Okay, let's go. One more air slash. Oh, it didn't. It didn't kill. Okay, or sorry, KO. Let's go for a regular wing attack then. We are quicker, so we're good. Cause I don't think I have anything super. Uh, I don't think I have anything super effective against poison types. And then we've got Rever Room. Let's see how Kadaddle can do. Kadaddle, sorry. Ooh, okay. Okay, I did nothing. Okay. Let's switch on over to... You here. Because Katadl was not the best option. <laughs> Clearly. Mobile Stiffs got it, I believe. Ooh, yikes. Crit, really? Go for a crunch. Okay, he, he tanked that. Go to the crunch. There we go. You think to give me a taste of my own poison? Fie! I'll fight on to the bitter end. I kind of changed his voice multiple times, but it's okay. 
Okay. Yeah, we don't got anything super effective. Let's go with Flamigo, just because Flamigo has quick speed and pretty good defense, I feel like. Navi Starmobile. Okay. Ooh, yikes. Okay, that's fine. Do I have a full restore by chance? I do not. Okay. Let's go ahead and just super potion up then. Because Flamigo has, a, like I said, Flamigo, Flamigo has a pretty good defense and has fantastic speed, so we should be able to take tank quite a bit of hits. So I want to terrestrialize here and plus poison, we should be good. As long as I can get some uh, flinches going, we should be good to go. Let's go. Terrestrialization! Let's go, Flamigo! Terrestrialize! Activate! We got it. Okay, that's fine. We should be able to tank another hit. Okay. We're gonna fall f from that. Oh, we did. Okay. Okay, this guy's tough. This guy's tough this time around. That's okay. Good job, Flamigo. Okay. And attack fell, so that's good. Toxic spikes? Toxic debris? Oh, dang. That's unfortunate. It's okay. Let's just keep bringing down attack. Because I think Cyclozar should be able to finish this up. Finish this up. I know I'm spamming a little bit, but... I just want to keep bringing down attack, and we should be good. Let's see if I can tank these hits. Oh, we got poison this time around. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we got about like probably three more attacks on us. Probably like four more. We're gonna have to heal up though. Let's go ahead and use a. Let's go ahead and use a hyper potion for this one. Just so we're at full. All right, we're taking really, really very minimum damage or minimal damage rather. I'm not really too worried. Yeah, we're good. Just a couple of more, couple more uh, breaking swipes, and we'll be good to go. Maybe this tougher. Yeah, let's try Dragon Claw. I think your attack is down is down good enough. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that definitely that definitely is the way to go. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and revive. Flamigo, so you flamigo, flamigo can get the experience as well. And a couple of more Dragon Claws, we should be able to go. Be good to go. Okay. We're, we are going to heal just, just in case. We're going to, for this time, I'm just going to use a Super Potion. But just in case, we're going to heal real quick. Okay, I think that's the only move. Oh, geez, that was a crit. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal again then. I can't risk that. So I think he is quicker than me. Go another super potion. Hopefully, he doesn't get another crit because that would suck. This one's definitely taking a lot longer, just because we don't have anything strong against poison types. We don't have any super effective moves against poison types, unfortunately. So that's why we're taking. It's taking a bit longer to do this. Okay, so we should be able to get a few more, a couple more attacks in. Ooh, 
Ooh, so close. Maybe a quick attack should do us. Yeah, maybe a quick attack. Come on. Priority move. There we go. I don't know what poison is weak against, actually. Water? I don't know. Good job, Cyclazar. Forgive me, my friends. Do we get do we get EXP for that? I don't remember. About a year and a half ago. I love these backstories, man. Forgive me, it's a good a goodly time to procure the required materials. Well, sick, these boots are insane. Ah yes, the move flame charge was my muse for my for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Inferno Eddie. If it lies with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like an absolute beast, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you cause, cause you to geek out over old-fashioned stuff or out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns, I ne neither expect nor desire sympathy from the, un the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training, so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does, henceforth. I will devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. Aww. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Alrighty! Take this contraption, too. It contains a technique that allows me to cover the, their foes in gunk. Gunk shot. Love that, I guess. Sky is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Donaticus. Ah, my compadre. It seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Donaticus, please, hear what I have to say. I know I need a moment. What have brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of the team star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, team star cannot carry on. Or without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own world, a word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, it would seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't ever think that, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You got a lifelong compadre in me. Don't for you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. Seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendship they, would, they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. <laughs> I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Aw. They gotta give the protagonist more, more emotion, because he's just smiling throughout the entire thing. Alright. Sky, it's me. I take it the Atticus Star Badge is now in your possession. I see. 
Now that now that boss has been taken down, the Natty Squad's days are numbered. Atticus. Sorry I got distracted for a second there again. Uh, okay, you changed your emotion. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 6,000, nice. Heck yeah. I have my supply unit rep meet you shortly. You know who that is. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. What? What the heck? Aw. Hey, stop that! Somebody help! Aw. That's cute. Aw, oh, he fell asleep. Ugh, it drew it all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. Uh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Lots of Pokemon materials. Um, your name's Sky, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? Eh, they're pretty strong, to be honest. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star always, wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking out the students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Somebody recruited them to the team in the first place. And I don't normally talk this much, now that my, now my throat hurt kinda hurts. So um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Aw. So sweet. So sweet. Alrighty. So I- that is- that is as good a place as any to end off, uh, this episode. I'm probably gonna picnic off screen just so I can get some- so just so I can recover a little bit. And then in the next episode, we'll go ahead and go back into the base to see if there's any items we can grab. And then we'll make our way to... Maybe, probably to the Path of Legend? I guess? We could- we could also head over down to Lavincia. Yeah, we could do that. I'll probably try to find a Pokemon Center somewhere though. Yeah, like this one over here, maybe? I don't know. But I think- I think we're- I think we're just gonna head towards here in the next episode and then talk to Nurse Joey and find out where we're supposed to go. So yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment down below any tips or tricks may have for the game or for my commentary. It really helped me out and I truly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Become royalty today. We'd love to have you in our community. Anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.